the most common form of primary liver cancer, cancer that starts in the cells of the liver, is called hepatocellular carcinoma, or HCC, but most people call it liver cancer. Liver cancer is a leading cause of death. The number of new cases of liver cancer in Canada is increasing. Similarly, death rates from liver cancer have increased significantly since the mid-1990s. This is why it is important to learn more about its risk factors and possible prevention. Liver cancer usually starts out as a small lump called a tumor and can grow larger or can develop in more than one site in the liver over time. It usually starts slowly in the liver that has been exposed to certain risk factors for liver cancer. Many factors play a role in the development of cancer. Usually, cancer occurs from multiple gene changes or mutations over a lifetime. This creates abnormal proteins, which may cause cells to multiply uncontrollably and become cancerous. What exactly causes the mutations in the liver cells is not fully understood and can be caused by various things. For instance, liver disease can lead to scarring of the liver. This prompts the liver cells to regenerate. This regeneration can place the liver in a constant cycle of damage and repair. If the liver cells are constantly being forced to repair, this raises the chances of genetic mistakes or mutations, which has been linked to the development of liver cancer. A risk factor is something that increases the risk of developing disease. This could be a behavior, substance, or condition. Most cancers are the result of many risk factors. Any liver disease that causes severe or chronic and long-lasting damage, which leads to constant damage and repair, can increase the risks of liver cancer. Worldwide, the most important risk factor that has been linked to liver cancer are the hepatitis B and C viruses. In Canada, both non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and alcohol-related liver disease are increasingly recognized as major risk factors for liver cancer. Another important risk factor is cirrhosis. Cirrhosis develops when liver cells are damaged and replaced by significant amount of scar tissues. Some causes of cirrhosis are non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, viral hepatitis, drinking excessive alcohol, autoimmune liver diseases, too much iron in the liver from a disease called hemochromatosis, as well as rare genetic liver diseases. Other known risk factors are obesity, metabolic conditions such as diabetes, or hereditary conditions. The chance of developing liver cancer increases with age. Men are more likely to develop liver cancer than women. Some environmental factors may increase the risk of liver cancer, such as exposure to certain chemicals or eating certain contaminated food. Having more than one risk factor increases a person's risk of developing liver cancer even more. For example, a person with hepatitis C who also drinks alcohol is at a higher risk. Talk to your doctor about your risk. If you are at a higher risk, you may need to visit your doctor more often to check for liver cancer. Although there is no proven way to completely prevent liver cancer, you may be able to lower your risk. As mentioned earlier, the most common risk factors worldwide for liver cancer are chronic hepatitis B and C infections. Therefore, the prevention of these forms of liver disease is essential. A vaccine can protect healthy people from contracting hepatitis B. Since there is no vaccine against hepatitis C, it is important to prevent the spread of this disease and to identify and treat those currently infected with hepatitis C. Cirrhosis can also be avoided by preventing hepatitis and reducing or eliminating alcohol intake. As non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is also an increasingly important risk factor, it is essential to maintain a healthy weight, eat a balanced diet, and introduce physical activity into your daily routine. People at high risk of liver cancer should speak with their doctor and be checked regularly to increase the chances of early detection.
For more information on liver cancer prevention and risk factors, please visit liver.ca.